what's up what's up what's up it's your girl miss chocolate and i'm back with another video y'all today is talk about it tuesday hold on i can't believe it's a helicopter flying over my head you rarely see fan helicopters where i live okay anyway somebody must be air getting airlifted to the hospital but I wanted to come on here and do this short video because I haven't been feeling up to date about doing anything. But hold on, y'all. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all. I'm back. So, um, like I said, I was going to start the segment, sex, segment, segment about Let It Go. And um, so this is part two of the Let It Go Core Chronicle edition. And, you know, back to what I was saying about let it go. We just hold on to things that we should not hold on to. When we know we should have been let it go. It, it does not give us any value. Um, it doesn't benefit us. Um, we stay losing in the end by holding on to the things that we know we should let go. So, for example, say you've been in a relationship for the past 10 years. And this person that you're with, you know, they're not going to marry you. They have no intentions on marrying you. Um, and you guys don't even get along that much. You know, y'all argue, y'all fuss, y'all fight. It's disrespect all in the whole thing, right? But you hold on to the person because you're comfortable with them. Y'all have history or her because we're not gonna just make this about um, uh, men uh, you know it's about whatever relationship right so you know deep down inside this person ain't doing the things that they supposed to be doing far as loving you as an individual right you know what it is that you want and you know what it is that you don't want but you compromise the things that you want for the things that you don't want just to have somebody or just because you're comfortable with that person and you're scared of letting go because you're scared to be by yourself. Or you scared that you're not going to find nobody else because y'all been together for so long. So we deal, right? We settle. We continue to hurt because we scared of what could be. You know, yes, you can leave this person and find somebody and be completely happy. Or you can leave this person and don't find nobody and be completely miserable and alone. But what's the use of uh, being scared to be a miserable and alone when you're in a relationship and you're still alone? You're still miserable. You get what I'm saying? So at least if you leave this person, the hurt stops. You heal eventually. But you cannot heal when you're still continually being in the situation. You get know what I'm saying? You cannot heal if you still with this repeat offender and they still keep causing you pain and pain day after day. Oh, and let's talk about the moments when it's good. You know, because it's, it is those moments where it's good. Y'all have the moments where you be like, this why I love him or this why I love her. This is why I stayed. But how long does that last? Because you know that's just the coping mechanism, right? You know that that's just the bait you in. After they've been messing up for so long, they got to do something to bait you in. Because they know pressure busts pipes. And eventually, you will get tired. Every dog has his day, right? So they got to do what they got to do to keep, keep you in, keep their hooks in you. Keep you baited in. So you can forget about the drama you just went through or the tears you was crying the night before when they didn't come home. Or when they wasn't answering their phone, lying, talking about they was at their mama house or their homie house. Oh, I was with the homegirls. Me and the homeboys was playing basketball. That's why I didn't hear my phone ringing. Come on now, or the, or the, or the lie, the number one lie. My phone was dead. Wow. You know, so... 
they do something that they know you like to keep you baited and hooked in, right? And we fall for it every time because we gullible, because we got good hearts. And we won't deep down inside the person that we love to be the right person because we don't want to start over. We scared of something new. But stop being scared of something new and get your happiness, sis, brother. Get your happiness because it exists. And I'm telling y'all this from experience, from one failed relationship after another. 17 years of drama. If two people not willing to fix the relationship, it's not going to work. Y'all have to be willing. Well, I got to go because here come these loud kids. But we'll get back to this. I love y'all. And y'all know this is Miss Chocolate's World and we all over the place. And if it's not all over the place, it don't belong in y'all face. I love y'all. Stay blessed.